Hey people, it's me again. So, anyways, um, one of the things that Tim Pool has talked about on one of his latest videos about AOC and the Green New Deal, that there are some Democrats that are now calling her out on some of it there, on how it's just draconian socialism as far as that goes. And in some ways, the argument makes a whole lot of sense when it comes to a lot of the points that he said there. That when it comes to people on the left, they do have this elitist type view of things, you know. And, you know, especially when you see these kind of people that you see and the others there that... They, they come off as wanting to be, like, faux Bolshevik, but they're really bourgeoisie kind of thing, or or uh, vice versa, I don't know. Where they try to appear to be uh, this sort of thing, but in reality they're not, you know. That sort of stuff. Yeah. And it is one of the biggest um, things that a lot of people, in, including myself for that like, example, can't stand people on the left as far as that goes, having that kind of, that elitist uh, bourgeoisie uh, mentality and all of that and, and then have this uh, the self-righteous holier-than-thou kind of attitude towards things like that. And especially since, you know, I live in California and I'm from California and all that. And a lot of these sort of uh, ballot propositions or, or bills that are, in the, that are as far as the state goes, they tend to seem to benefit people who just live in... Uh, the LA area or San Diego or in the Bay Area but not really benefit people who live elsewhere and a lot of these sort of uh, politicians there just don't realize that there are other people that don't have that same mentality as far as that goes people who live in Bakersfield Fresno and Merced and and those uh, cities over there, you know, that is just one of the things I have to kind of point out about all of that. So, anyways, as I was kind of saying about this sort of thing here, is that it's one of those things that I had talked about a while ago when it comes to like people like AOC and all that. That they're just like Napoleon or um, what's his name? Can you forget his name? It's not Rasputin, but um, Vladimir Lenin or or uh, Leon Trotsky or one of those people there that they didn't really want to bring uh, equality and of the masses and all that. They just simply wanted to take down the Tsardom, take down the 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 royalty and then take it for themselves as far as that goes. That is really like the case as far as that goes. I mean I had said that sort of analogy before, you know, about it is, is that AOC, Elian Omar, Rashida Tlaib and I forgot what's that other congresswoman that's also kind of a little bit of far leftist as far as that goes. And um, they're the ones that are like at the spearheading the, the battering ram on the ivory towers. Not simply because they want to bring down the ivory tower. They simply just want to take over that ivory tower for themselves. That's pretty much what it is. And I think it was a few years ago when I mentioned about like the Russian Revolution or the French Revolution. Someone had 
pointed this sort of thing out to me earlier at that point, you know, of how certain people were like that, that had no intention of really uh, making things right when it comes to the injustice of the the czars or the royalty in France or whatever, you know, of that sort, you know, and that they just really wanted to take over that sort of thing there. You know what I mean? That is kind of like the case here. Yeah. But one of the things that uh, Tim Pole has mentioned as far as when it comes to these sort of things, you know, that acting is sort of elitist there it, it really like it really uh torpedoes their credibility as far as that goes and i think in some ways you know a lot of the people do see right through aoc Ilhan omar rashida talib and and that other girl whatever her name was you know as that they're just a bunch of phonies of some sort. You know. I mean, considering all that, you know, only like 20% of people that survey have a positive opinion about AOC. And all the others just have a negative view of her, at least, or don't know who she is. You know what I mean? So... That's just one of the things I have to kind of point out about this sort of stuff here. You know? But considering all of that, you know, that when it comes to these sort of people, it's best to also kind of call them out on that in there because they're not necessarily, um, uh, what they think they are in some ways yeah it's basically like the case with a lot of the ones who are like trust or or uh or other people who are just want to be something or other and and all this sort of stuff there and in some ways i think when it came to aoc i think her true colors have been shown apparently in this sort of thing and I don't know if she's going to be able to win re-election next year or if she's going to end up becoming a one-term wonder. Only time will tell on this sort of thing. So anyways, talk to you guys later.